you guys, it's Rose and it is tax time. I have had a lot of business owners reach out to me throughout the year, just around tax season in general, asking me questions about what can they do as far as tax write-offs, how do they work, how does it benefit you? So we're gonna get straight into it. First and foremost, when it comes to you having a business, it really works out to help you as far as your tax liability. So for example, let's say you work, you have a job, but you have a side hustle, you have a business that you do on the side. Let's say you are filing single and you're supposed to owe taxes. If for some reason you do have a business that you work on on the side, that can actually offset you owing taxes because with your business, you can write off everything that you use for your business when it comes to monthly subscriptions that you need related to your business, even you paying your fees for your LLC setup is a tax write-off. Any type of fees that you pay, if you have like a third-party person that's working for you, doing um, doing jobs for you under the business, any type of write-offs as far as your vehicle, mileage, gas, maintenance, there is a long list of things which I'm gonna go over today, but those are just some things that you can write off. So let's say you have $5,000 worth of business expenses. You basically on your tax return, you're gonna put in all your business information as far as your business name. If you have an LLC, great. If not, minimally, if you have a DBA, your EIN number, and then from there, you start to list out everything that you've paid for with your business. A lot of times, me personally, I um, use QuickBooks because it'll connect directly to my bank account that I use for my business transactions. And then it will categorize most of the things that are on there so that it automatically does it and you don't have to come off of your head. But that is a great way for you to bring down your tax liability, whether it's personally or for business taxes. So we're gonna get straight into it. I'm looking at my computer because I wanna like, I'm looking directly at the tax form to let y'all know. There are some general expenses in general um, that you can write off. So you can even write off advertising and advertising that categorize, like if, let's say you did paid ads on social media, if you pay someone to create flyers, a logo, content for you, that can go under advertising. Contract labor, again, that's like if somebody is working under you, under your business, commission and fleas. Also, health insurance can be written off as far as well as other types of insurance. Legal and professional services. So if you had to set up an LLC, you had to do business insurance, like there's so many things that can go under there. If you had to have a lawyer for your business, that can all go under the legal and professional services. Office expenses. Did you have to buy papers, pens, a computer, an iPad? Did you have to buy a printer? All that type of stuff can also be written off under office expenses. Um, rent or lease of equipment and rent or lease of property. Obviously, the rental lease of property, if you had to rent out a space, whether you pay a rented space monthly or let's say you had to rent out a space for a photo shoot or something specific, that can fall under there. When you're renting equipment, um, that can even go as far as you renting pieces for, you know, a shoot or something that you needed, equipment for your business as a whole. What else is something under here? Repairs and maintenance, that can go to any repairs that you needed for any type of equipment for your actual business. Of course, supplies. You can even write off travel as well when it comes to you. Let's say you had to travel for an event or you had to travel for training and you had to book a flight. As long as it was related to your business, you can write that off for travel as far as the flight, hotel, all that kind of great stuff. Even utilities. So if you do have a physical space that you have to pay utilities at, and that does include your Wi-Fi, if you are paying, you know, lights, water, gas, all that kind of great stuff. So those are just a few of the things that you can actually use and write off as far as business expenses go. Also, if you have a vehicle that you're using, you can track your mileage. They have a lot of online apps that you can just download on your phone and track your mileage if you use your vehicle regularly for your business, whether it just be you dropping things off or you physically use a vehicle, you know, for the means as far as a transportation business. So, Pretty much, like I said, it's easier if you use QuickBooks, but you can, you know, manually do everything yourself as well. You're pretty much gonna 
put everything under a category tally up the amount that it is for each one and you're going to enter all that in as far as on your tax return once that's entered in as it's basically going to outweigh whatever your income is so if you have an income for your business of twenty thousand dollars and let's say you have five thousand dollars worth of expenses that's going to bring the actual income down to fifteen thousand and depending on what you could possibly owe whether it's for your personal or business tax liability, it can offset you owing more money to the IRS. So that's why a lot of larger corporations and businesses write off a lot of stuff because it brings down their tax liability. So in other words, you owe less money to the IRS, less that you have to pay back to them is less money that you actually have to be set up on a payment plan for, all that kind of great stuff. So when you're starting your business, my suggestion would strongly be once you have your LLC EIN number set up, make sure that you're getting a business bank account. Even if you don't necessarily have a lot of money flowing, you're gonna need that for your business expenses because you wanna use that account specifically for all your business expenses so that at the end of the year, all you need to do is connect it to QuickBooks or you can just go through your bank statements and you know see how much money in total you spent on your business expenses, get all that together. It makes the process much easier, not just for you, but for your tax preparer because for me, I ask, I usually will email them a spreadsheet and kind of have them break down what they actually use. But if they do have a QuickBooks account or something of that nature, it just makes it easier for me because I can go through everything, go through the categories, tally everything up, put it in and let you know if you're going to get a refund or if you're going to owe the IRS and what that tax liability is going to look like for you for the year. So those are just a few things that you can use as far as your tax write-offs to make sure that you're saving as much money as possible when it comes to owing Uncle Sam. I will be sure to put in the description the different categories that you can have on your taxes just so that you guys can go through it at any other time. And of course, you know, tax season is coming up. So if you are interested in booking a free tax estimate with me, I will also put that booking link in the description below. Thank you guys so much for joining me again. It's Rose. Thank you again for hanging with me here at Rose Credit Repair. And don't forget, like, subscribe, comment below. If you have any credit questions, I'm going to be answering them myself in the comments. So you know what to do. Until next time.